How long will the rain last across the Northeast? We'll talk more about that coming up. Right now, let's take a peek into the tropics with our hurricane expert, John Hope. Well, thank you, Jeanette, and good afternoon, everybody. We do have a tropical storm and a hurricane out in the Atlantic. Let's have a look out there, and we'll show you where both of these features are. Uh, this is Hurricane Isaac, and this has turned more or less already toward the northwest. We expect it to recurve, finally even moving northeast out of the Atlantic, well east of the United States, uh, no threat to the United States. On the other hand, we have uh, Tropical Storm Joyce here, which is getting better organized, moving straight toward the west. We think this is going to be a hurricane in a couple of days, and we don't see much of anything coming up for the next three days except movement toward the west and that's going to put it about seven or eight hundred miles off the uh, leeward island so we do have to watch this one now isaac uh, the winds are down a little bit today they're down to 90 miles an hour but it continues to move toward the west northwest and apart from bermuda we don't see any island or any place else that we would consider a possible threat here's the latest uh, visible satellite picture on it uh it's getting dark out there and the uh Early pictures this morning showed some evidence of some southwesterly shear. We see kind of less of that now. And even though it did decrease in intensity, we're not looking for it to change very much now in the next 12 to 24 hours. Joyce uh, was centered at 11.7, That's 660 miles east of the Lesser Antilles. A long ways away, the winds were 40 miles an hour and the estimated lowest pressure, 1,005 millibars. But as we look at that today and look at the satellite pictures, it does appear to be getting better organized as time goes by. Again, it's getting pretty dark there, but it has a very good uh, rotation. We think it will increase uh, rather steadily in the next couple days. And as I said, uh, very likely up to hurricane status. Now, as far as off the coast of Africa, we have yet another wave coming off. This is uh, Joyce here. And up there at the very top of your picture is uh, Hurricane Isaac. And the Caribbean is another area that we're beginning to watch with some interest. We watched it yesterday, but last night the thunderstorms kind of faded away. Uh, they're making a bit of a comeback today, and we think there is a good possibility we might see some development here. We appear to be getting a low-pressure system developed somewhere near Nicaragua, off the coast of Nicaragua. Basically, we think this is going to move toward the north, but it's highly uncertain how far it might go. Right now, it looks as if the trough of low pressure digging through the United States might not pick it up. So we'll have to watch this as time goes by. Right now, nothing there that we really need to worry about. That's it for this time. Now let's get back to Janetta Jones. All right, thanks a lot, John. The tropics, we are still well into the Atlantic hurricane season, obviously, even though we're past the climatological peak. But we have two strengthening hurricanes there, and one in particular needs to be watched extremely closely. With all the details, here's our hurricane expert, Dr. Steve Lyons. Well, thanks, Jeff, and the one Jeff is referring to is Joyce, although those of you in Bermuda need to keep an eye on Isaac as well. And Isaac has already generated some pretty big waves along the northern coast of the islands. It's also going to generate some pretty big waves for Bermuda as well on the southeast coast. Let's look at first a water vapor image, and I'll show you where these features are. The reason I'm showing you the water vapor image is because it gives us a pretty good idea of what's uh, in store for de uh, development and also motion. First of all, Isaac up here, you can see the eye of it, and now the big plume of high clouds here, the cirrus plume, is pointing in the direction the upper level winds wants to take it. So it's going to take a more northwest turn through time. We think it's going to move to the east of Bermuda, although the high surf is going to get you there in Bermuda. Joyce is down here to well to the south, moving straight west right now, and it does not look like there's going to be anything that's going to change that direction, at least for the next 36 to 48 hours. Small hurricane, but nevertheless strengthening. We also have a low pressure center in the northwestern Caribbean Sea. That's associated with an upper level low, and you can see that little dark spot just to the northwest there. But nevertheless, it's concentrating some showers and thunderstorms there. We're starting to see very weak low pressure. Well, here's a 5 o'clock information from the Hurricane Center for Isaac, 22.3 north, 50.2 west. Winds 110 miles per hour, so just under Category 3 strength very very close to it and it wouldn't be surprising if at 11 we get a category 3 hurricane once again moving northwest at 16 it's pulling away from our hurricane farther to the south fairly quickly pressured 965 millibars and we look at the satellite imagery we see an eye that's become better defined through time and this big outflow now is no longer crushed by the westerly flow the westerly flow is diving south of the hurricane so that's more favorable for development but right now it's just high surf for the islands and high surf heading toward bermuda now let's look at our other hurricane out there
It is now 50 past the hour. Time for Storm Watch here on the Weather Channel, sponsored by the Home Depot. I'm Paul Goodlow, and thank you for joining us here this evening. We're going to start Storm Watch off with a tropical update, and we do have a, tropical, a triple tropical threat out here in the Atlantic that uh, we need to concern ourselves with. We have two hurricanes and a tropical depression, and this tropical depression is actually forecasted to become a, another hurricane over the next uh, two or three days into this weekend. By Sunday, we could be dealing with a third hurricane. Tropical depression in this area here, and our two hurricanes, pretty obvious. Hopefully it's obvious on the satellite here. This is Hurricane Isaac and Hurricane Joyce. But we'll start with our tropical depression. Number 15 of the year, when, if and when it does strengthen to a tropical storm, then it becomes a name storm. That name would be Keith and uh, it's forecasted to become a storm, then a hurricane by Sunday morning. Right now, as of 5 p.m., I should say, the other coordinates, if you're tracking, the most striking point is it's not really moving a whole lot. It's the center of circulation is pretty much uh, stationary. The Air Force Reservists, the hurricane hunters, flew in this afternoon, and they did find a closed low, and that did uh, warrant labeling this a tropical depression. In fact, if you take a look at the satellite, enhanced satellite here, you can see the brighter colors, the reds, the yellows, the taller cloud tops, even the colder cloud tops of really strong thunderstorms. Again, a tropical storm is nothing but a bunch of thunderstorms that have organized together. And we're seeing this deep convection, strong thunderstorms. A lot of it now is over land. Unfortunately, it's going to lead to a lot of flash flooding, perhaps some mudslides around Honduras. But nonetheless, we can also see some thunderstorms again back towards the Cayman Islands, even Jamaica, and eventually, our depression forecast to strengthen a storm and a hurricane and then slowly start moving in this direction. That means Cozumel, Yucatan, Cancun. You also need to monitor this, the Weather Channel and watch Tropical uh, Depression 15 and see what's going to happen to it and where it will be going over the next several days, especially if you have family, relatives, or even if you're traveling to the Caymans, Jamaica, even uh, Cancun or Cozumel over the next several days. You'll definitely want to stay tuned. And beyond that, we definitely want to keep an eye out on things throughout Florida and the rest of the Gulf states here in the Gulf of Mexico because, again, once a storm gets to the Gulf of Mexico, there's no easy way out. Typically, it does interact with uh, some landmass, either Mexico or the U.S., maybe even Cuba as well. Let's talk about our other hurricanes. Now, Hurricane Isaac, it continues its jaunt towards the northwest, and now it's starting to move a little bit more and more towards the north. And that's good news for Bermuda. Again, it's forecasted to kind of curve away from you, but it's going to come close enough. We're already feeling the increased uh, surf. Also, strong uh, rip currents as well. You definitely, uh, if you can, just avoid the ocean, actually staying or swimming in the ocean. You can wade in it, not too deep. Enjoy the beach, but you want to stay out of the water. Enjoy the hotel pool or the resort pool that you're staying with. Again, this is a major hurricane. Category 4, 140 mile per hour sustained winds, but still almost 700 miles east-southeast of the island of Bermuda. And our other hurricane here is Hurricane Joyce. Continues to move in a favorable area. We could see some strengthening, perhaps even into a major hurricane over the next several days. And we are concerned because, again, it's getting closer and closer to the Lesser Antilles here. In fact, it's uh, just about 900 miles east-southeast of the Windward Islands. Sustained winds now 85 miles per hour forecasted, unfortunately, to strengthen as it continues moving on towards the west, eventually towards the west-northwest. But we still have concern and, and, and uh, interest here in the Lesser Antilles here. By Sunday morning, Joyce could be only just a couple of hundred miles from these islands. If you're in the Caribbean, heading towards the Caribbean, have interest in the Caribbean, keep it here on the Weather Channel. We'll keep you informed on the situation. This program.